Tip number 59 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. I am the author trying to help you guys and gals make a little more sense out of some of the goofy stuff in this business. Tip number 59, understand how your competitors operate. This is a biggie. If you have a couple of contractors in your area that are doing most of the work, find out why. If they're advertising in the newspaper, you should be. If they belong to the local chamber of commerce, you don't ask when or, or where. You get down there and sign up. You've got to do what they're doing. I don't care if you copy them exactly. Copy their behaviors, uh, advertising methods, uh, networking, referrals. Do what they're doing until you can cut your own path and go from there. And someone told me that a long time ago, that a real master is someone who studies the rest of the masters until they realize that they they have become a master because they can't study any longer. They're not learning anything. They've actually became a master themselves and they will start treading their own path. They won't be on the path that the others are on. They're going to cut a new one and go in a totally new direction and then others are going to be following them, learning from them. This is vital. You have a contractor in your area who's uh, doing more work and you just can't figure out why, figure out why. You're going to need to take the time, study their business, um, do whatever it takes. And I'm not going to give you any uh, suggestions on things that you can do that would be devious. You know, there are things you could do that are, um, you, can, you can watch them. If they're advertising in the newspaper, then advertise in the newspaper. If they're um, going to uh, sporting events and they're bringing their old clients along or they're bringing new potential clients along, whatever it is, if they're having parties, um, a meeting for breakfast, luncheons uh, with other business owners, you gotta do the same thing. You gotta do it until you, like I said, become a master business owner on your own and can cut your own path. You can go your own way. Follow somebody else. Learn from the best um, and learn from the worst. So don't forget, you can always learn from people who aren't successful. And then, of course, avoid doing what they're doing.